Kiryu-san! Over there! He's headed for HQ! You bastard! Let's finish this, Kiryu! Shisho! You bitches! This ain't over yet! Get going, Kiryu. Leave these clowns to us. You said he was yours, right? Then go have your fun. Make sure you teach him a real good lesson. Got it. Appreciate the help. Even though we just met. <laughs> you always were stubborn, Kiryu-chan. Guy who sits the Great Hall. In this spot right here. He's the one who runs everything. Just one word. That's all it would take to mobilize every Yakuza in Japan. That's the kind of strength we're all dreaming of! That's not the world we live in anymore. I think you ought to know that well enough by now. Don't you fucking tell me what I know! Maybe none of this matters to you. You sat the Tojo throne, even if it didn't last. But some of us got no choice. If being a Yakuza is the only life you know, then this room's all you fucking have! This place? It's the dream. And without it, we're dead! The dream, huh? <laughs> Golden Boy like you could never understand. You'll never know what it is you've taken from us. I get it. Uh, do you? I can erase my name. I can deny who I am. But deep down, I'm the same as you. You hear someone out there stronger. And soon your only thought is how to defeat them. You want to prove you're unmatched? Then bask in the glory. That's how we're built. If that's how we're built, then why the fuck did you help tear it all down? Why would you take our goddamn dream away? That's easy. Because compared to the hopes and dreams of everyone else out there, ordinary people just struggling to get through their daily lives, our dream isn't worth a damn. Everything sideways showing up here and raising hell. But at least I'll get to kill you myself. And once that's done, those little shits are next. You want to rattle me so bad you can taste it. But doesn't change the fact that this ends right here. No matter how many bullshit threats you throw at me. Ha! All done then? Doesn't change shit. Think I give a shit about some legendary Yakuza? All you fucks! I'll murder every one of ya!
are you assholes looking at? The Omi Alliance dispense as of today. For all your kicking and screaming, you couldn't stop the boss or the Tojo clan. We won. You put up a good fight. I'll give you that. Time to go. Nothing more for us here. What I say. Come on, get in. I'll give you guys a lift. I brought you another change of clothes, Watase-san. Thoughtful as ever. Thanks for that. Of course. I think you'll fit. Might be a little tight, though. Well, well. Got some guts, don't you? Trying to pull a fast one and a daidoji. Pretty slick for a two-bit thug. Personally, I'd end you right here and be done with it. But you'll make a fine agent, so you can keep your life. You're gonna be on a damn short leash till the day you die. But don't worry. Nishitani will be there too, so you won't be lonely. No! Already tired of meditating. That's a rare sight. I just couldn't free myself from worldly desires. When I told him, he gave me this. The road to enlightenment is long and arduous. We all need to take a break once in a while. I'm not certain anyone will reach enlightenment from here. <laughs> How uncharitable. You have more work for me? No. You need some time to cool off. You barely had enough time to catch your breath after all you've done in Osaka and Yokohama. Yeah. Guess so. So the legendary dragon's chosen Ichiban Kasuga as his successor. Now that I think of it, there is a resemblance. Going to jail for the crimes of others. No, wait. Isn't that what Yakuza do all the time? I don't think of it as some grand statement about a successor. But, after the dissolution, I just wanted to help with the burden he had to carry, however I could. Before you encouraged him, he was just some thug fresh out of jail. And that thug went on to stop Ryo Aoki from going mad with power. The Daidoji couldn't overlook Aoki going rogue like that. Without your help, there's no way Kasuga could have done so much, don't you think? I didn't give the kid superpowers. He was already strong enough. We just ran into each other. That's all. Still... What are you getting at? Stop beating around the bush. You came here because you needed me for something, right? Oh yes, that's right. The Daijoji are offering you a reward for your services. A reward? It's been said before, but your work has proven very effective. After all, it got us 50 billion yen in assets. And on a personal note, it also saved my life. Leaving that debt unpaid doesn't sit right. So first of all, I'd like to show you this.
You haven't seen this before, have you? It's your grave in Okinawa. Our hidden cameras filmed this. The same ones that we used to monitor the orphanage kids. This was taken on the anniversary of your death. Haruto-kun was around four at the time, huh? Growing up nicely, indeed. The camera's positioned far away, so they don't know they're being watched. Your last two visitors that day were Taichi-kun and Ayako-san. After a while, Ayako-san spotted the camera. She might have noticed light reflecting off the lens. Hey, Taichi. Is that... Is that a camera I'm seeing? Yep. Looks like it. And it's pointed at Uncle Kaz's grave? If it's a hidden camera, then someone's probably watching us. Does that mean... Do you think Uncle Kaz set it up? If Uncle Kaz is really still alive, then maybe he did. <laughs> Yo, Uncle Kaz! So, come on, what do you think you're doing? What? There's a chance he might see this, right? Huh? We got nothing to lose, so let's try. <sighs> hey, Uncle Kaz! Can you see me okay? It's Taiji! And Ayako is here, too. <laughs> We're all doing great. Same with Haruka and Haruto. Shiro, Izumi, Koji, Mitsuo, Riona, and Eri, everybody's doing well. And plus, to be honest with you, nobody here actually believes that you're, um, dead. <laughs> I'm serious. Hey, Uncle Kaz. So, I'm a firefighter now. When bad things happen, and people who are in trouble need help, I want to be the one who steps up when no one else has the courage. It's probably because I grew up watching you. As for me, I got a job at a small office. I fought really hard to get it, and it worked out. Koji's working for a company now, too. Riona got a job in fashion. Ari wants to work with little kids. Izumi went and became an animal groomer. <laughs> she had lots of practice on Mame. Mitsuo's working all kinds of jobs. And Shiro's majoring in science. Haruto's, well... <laughs> Lately, he's been a bit of a pain. Take your eyes off him for a second and he's gone. It's driving Haruka and Yuta sound crazy. <laughs> We know. You must have a lot going on, too. Because if you were alive, you'd definitely come see us, right? Maybe. Maybe if you really are somewhere out there, you could send us a sign? We're all making our way just fine on our own, so it's not like we'd ask you to take care of us or anything. Just... It's only that we wouldn't want for you to be lonely out there all on your own. If you did give us a sign, we wouldn't tell anyone outside Morning Glory. And when you're ready, we'll all be waiting for you to come back. Looking forward to it. Yeah, we are. Taichi and I are finally old enough to drink, too. I bet we'll have a fun time. We've got so much to talk about. Oh, right! We're going to come back again tomorrow. There's something we want you to have. And plus, I want Haruka and the others to say hi, too. What is it that you wanted to bring for him? Oh, yeah, that's great! Anyway, see you tomorrow! Bye, Uncle Kaz! <laughs> Unfortunately, the 
camera was collected by an agent soon after this video was taken. Once the kids discovered the camera, we had no other choice. <laughs> right. I understand. I had wondered to myself whether showing you this would really constitute a reward. I'm still unsure. It is. I'm really grateful. You did. <laughs> You'll recall, Taiji-kun said he had something he wanted to give you. On the day after the camera was retrieved, they went back, all the children of morning glory together, and left a small tube containing a picture. Now clearly, we couldn't let them think that Kazuma Kiryu, a dead man, had been there to receive it. Ultimately, we decided to leave it there, but had one of our agents take a photograph of it first. <laughs> Haruto-kun drew this. <laughs> That's you in the middle, isn't it? This is just great. Haruto. <laughs> Will you look at that? He's four now. He can read and write already. The last time I saw him, he couldn't even... He couldn't even talk. And now he's... <laughs> he's really coming along. Haruka-san, too. All of the children are. It's true. They're all making their own way just fine without me. And here I am, alone. I can't even tell them how much I miss them. They ever needed me. <laughs> that boy earlier, <clears throat> he said he wanted to show the courage to step in and help others when no one else would, didn't he? Surely you must realize you set that example for them. Hearing you say that, doesn't make me feel any better. I can't do a damn thing other than sit here and meditate. Uh, which reminds me. Hanoa-san suggested you take some time off and travel. It's already been approved by those in charge. Your vacation has no set time limit. You're welcome to go if you're interested. Make no mistake, though. As far as the world knows, Kazuma Kiryu will remain a dead man. Wherever you go, whatever you do, we'll be watching. So, my training's complete then. <laughs> this temple is just for appearances, as indeed am I. Your training will be there with you no matter where you go. It's time to move on. Is Hawaii going to be your first stop? I think I'll be saving the best for last. So, putting others before yourself again, are we? <laughs> you never change. Well, well. I see you've grown quite trusting of Kiryu-san. Trust has nothing to do with it. Distinguished performance earns a distinguished reward. You can call it meritocratic. Securing his gratitude is to our advantage. 
It sets a good example for the other pawns in our collection. One other thing. The dragon of Dojima is quite a fearsome ally. We would be unwise to make him an enemy. Clearly. That's why we don't want to get too involved. Hanawa-kun, he does understand his place, doesn't he? Indeed he does. Ought to be everything. Credit card, ID. All under your new name. Appreciate that. The faction approved it, so I did my job. That's all it was. Our relationship is strictly a business one, after all. It'll mean problems for both of us, if anyone thinks that you and I have become friends. Right. That'll work just fine. For us. Joyu was too on the nose to be a fitting alias. So I took the liberty, and chose Taichi Suzuki for you. <laughs> Just so happens that a few years back, I used this exact same name. Yes, I'm aware. I don't remember telling you anything about that. Or anyone else here, for that matter. <sighs> well, the truth is... Before I became a Daidoji member, I actually had another opportunity to get to know you. First time I'm hearing it. Well, we really are one and the same. How's that? Because we are both men who've found a new life. Men who have abandoned even their own names. <laughs> In other words, there are many more secrets you are not privy to. Well, story of my life. Please do take care of yourself. Kill your son. See you around. Let it go It keeps on going 